Ladies and gentlemen, this is Iron Lantern right here, bringing you another figure review but of a custom that me and my brother were working on. Um, this custom is, as you can see, Ultron. Uh, I made this figure because um, I wanted I wanted like a thinner, like more, um, like medicine looking um, Ultron. So basically what I used for base body was... Uh, the Batman Azrael that came out from the recent wave, uh, can't remember what wave it was from DCUC, took off pretty much his whole armor, um, and pretty much it came down to like just the base. You know what I mean? I chopped the head off, the ne the whole neck off, and added this uh, this joint from uh, Modern Iron Man right over here. Uh, I actually have more than one of them. Um, I don't have that joint actually fully in or glued because what I'm actually going to try to do is chop this um, peg there, add a magnet to the inside of the head and right here and make it so he can, you know, move his head, swivel his head up and down, side to side and all that. Uh, the shoulder pads and the chest piece is actually from an Ultron figure from 1998. I forget what series that was. It was like pre-Toy um, Biz and Marvel Legends. I uh, took that and the antennas from the actual figure um, and just hooked it up on this dude. Same thing with the knee pads, as you can see. Um, the the gauntlets from the original figure from the uh, Azro, I used them and put them on his ankle to give him more like a robotic feel and like jet boots because Ultron, you know, he can fly also. Um, these little pockets in the front were actually holes in there originally from the actual belt that Ultron that uh, Astro had. So I added these belt pieces uh, the, from um, from a Batman figure. I can't remember which one. Uh, the back piece is actually from a see-through, like a clear, a clear um, Halo Spartan figure uh, that was like magnet, like a magnet, like set or whatever. And I shaved it down and cut it down to this actual piece right here and um, hooked it up on there. Um, so it came out like this. Um, so basically with the paint, my brother, what he did was uh, took um, like a clamshell and uh, spray painted it inside. Uh, and took brush and brushed them, um, paint brushed them like pretty much all the way down to, you know, silver. And then from there added a dry a dry black wash onto the figure uh, giving him like this weathered detailed look you know which I think came out sick looking he did the eyes on him as well as the Kirby crackles in his mouth which I'm I'm, I'm happy about that so um, basically we're articulation like I said the head it, it's on there it does move side to side I, I could move the joint and still it'll still stay on as well as go up um, arms can go in and out I mean um, front and back in and out elbows can move it has like uh, the Marvel Universe kinda joint there um, wrist can go in and out swivel also as well uh, crowd, uh, the, the, the abs it, ha it has the ab crunch as you can see it has the T-joint can go, um, the leg could go in and out, uh, side to side. It has this uh, upper knee swivel, double jointed knees, and um, ankle ankle rockers back and forth. Uh, no ankle pivot, but the size of the figure actually came out pretty sick looking um, for this uh, modern Iron Man. Which I'm about to pose him up real quick. So you can see, you guys can see like a size comparison. As you can see, you know, I made, uh, you know, Ultron came out a little bit taller. Squeeze the legs together, he's still taller than Iron Man. You know, um, crazy thing is that he does fit on the glider, the Ultron glider that came with the uh, Marvel Legends Ultron, and uh, the head is actually from this base, um, the one that was laying right on top of this part right there. So I'm pretty impressed with this figure. You know, um, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. You know what I mean? Um, you know, rate, comment my uh, my page. You know, subscribe to Iron Lantern. Um, 
and hopefully you guys um, I hear good comments about it or maybe suggesting on what I could work on making it better so uh, alright guys hope to hear from you guys soon and um, enjoy this uh, review peace